<laughs> Praise the Lord. Right to knock our head here, a.k.a. Brother Billy Jr. Brother and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 12. We'll be looking at verses 14 and 15. And it reads, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brothers, this is God's word. If you give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, it says about how follow peace and holiness without which man will not see the Lord. And there'll be those who uh, erroneously um, interpret that as to mean you have to be holy, you have to stop sinning, you know, God, you know, be ye holy as God is holy, you know, and God's not going to do nothing, have nothing to do with you if you're sinning and, and you're not holy and you're not doing right and all, because God won't see you if you're not holy. In Hebrews chapter 12, it starts out where the Hebrew writer says, wherefore, seeing we are accomplished about with a great cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight. And that weight is, is speaking about is, is the law or, or, or trying to do right when, when, to, uh, to God. Let's lay aside that. Let's lay aside every sin that besets us. Uh, you, you can lay aside the sin that besets you because uh, uh, Jesus Christ do what he did on the cross all your sins are forgiven so you don't got to be sin conscious no more so lay aside the weight the the, the the law lay aside the sin you don't got to be sin conscious no more because jesus christ what he did on the cross he all your sins are forgiven past present and future and then watch this the hebrew writer then instructs the the, the believer that let us walk let us run with patience the, the, the race that's set before us because we laid aside the, 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 the law. We laid aside the, the sins because all our sins have been forgiven. We're no longer under the law, but we're under grace. Let us lay them aside so that we could uh, 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 run a race with patience. And why? Because now we could look to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the author, the finisher of our faith. And I watch this, the Hebrew writer goes on to say, for the joy that was set before him, and that joy is us. The joy that set before the Lord is us. The joy that, 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 that when, when we're looking to Christ, he's looking at us. And that joy that's set before him, he what he did, he, he, he endured the cross, and he, and he despised the shame. And because of that, now he is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. And so when we look to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are now following peace because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ is Jehovah Shalom in the flesh. So when we're looking to Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, we are following peace. So when we pick up now, uh, 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 Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, follow peace. Because why? Because we're looking to the uh, Jesus Christ, the author, the finisher of our faith. And he's the prince of peace. So we're following peace wherewith no man, uh, uh, can, uh, without, where no man cannot see the Lord. And holiness, wherewith no man cannot see the Lord. So when we're, fo when we're looking to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we're following peace and holiness, wherewith no man can see the Lord. They'll see the Lord in those who are looking to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, because they're following peace and holiness. When you look to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you're following peace and holiness. 
And so, what, 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 and how, how, how can we do that in practical terms? Well, you know, the Apostle Paul, in his uh, epistle letter of Philippians, he said this in Philippians chapter 4. He said this, finally, my brethren, whatever is true, whatever is, whatever is honest, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good report, Whatever is virtue of praise, whatever is virtue, whatever is praiseworthy, think of these things. Meditate on these things. When you think of these things that are true and honest and just and pure and lovely and of good report and of virtue of praise, when you think of these things, you are looking to the author and finisher of our faith, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you are following peace. The, uh, the Apostle Paul goes on to say in Philippians chapter 4, he says, whatever you learn, whatever you receive, whatever you heard, whatever you, uh, uh, whatever you learn and, 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 and receive and, and heard, and your know, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, and whatever you've seen in me, do. And watch this, the God of peace will be with you. And the God of peace, when you're following peace, when, or, or when you're looking to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Looking to God of peace. This, this is Jesus Christ, Jehovah Shalom in the flesh. And, and, and you're looking to peace and you're following holiness because you're looking at our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the author, the finisher of faith. You're following peace and holiness. You know, and, 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 and as the Apostle Paul mentioned in Philippians chapter 4, the God of peace, Jehovah Shalom in the flesh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be with you. And then uh, the Apostle Paul goes on to say this in Romans chapter 16, verse 20. Praise God. He says this, and the God of peace, the God of peace will bruise Satan Bruce Satan with your feet, with your feet. When you look into our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, following peace and the God of peace, which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Jehovah Shalom in the flesh, the God of peace shall bruise Satan with your feet shortly. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ will be with you. Amen. And then when we finish off, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15, it says, looking diligently. How do you look diligently? Looking at, to the author and the finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ, following peace and holiness. And when you do that, watch this. He goes on to say, lest ye fail the grace of God. But when we're looking diligently, when we're being reminded, when we're thinking of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our deliverer, our redeemer, our sanctifier, our, 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 the bread of life, the, 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 the way, the truth of the life. When you're looking at our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you, 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 that's the grace of God. And where, where Hebrews chapter 12 talks about less the, when, when you fail to the, the, the grace of God, you're not looking at our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And what's going to happen? A, a root of bitterness is going to spring up and it's going to trouble you. But when you're looking our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the author, the finisher of our faith and following peace and holiness, ain't no root of bitterness ain't going to uh, uh, trouble you. Praise God. Uh, the, the root of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is going to, is going to, is, is going to encourage you. It's going to empower you. It's going to uh, equip you. It's going to edify you. And all that's just, because when you have a root of bitterness in you, it, it, it's going to trouble you, and it's going to defile those people who are looking at you. But when you look into our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, instead of defiling, because you're looking at our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, instead of defiling others, people are going to be encouraged. Because you're looking to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you're following peace and holiness, and they'll see the holiness in you because Christ is in you, and they won't be defiled. They will be encouraged. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May the Lord.
Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And may the, <laughs> may the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And not to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you for us in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, <laughs> Most now for <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. <laughs> A God <-bay> love. <laughs>